do. I bought this uh, this log trailer that's hooked to my truck. It's the second trailer I bought. It's a newer trailer, and it's in really good shape. It's a drop center trailer. I bought this trailer first, and it's an old trailer. The trailer hooked to my tractor is a, a 97 model trailer. This is a 74 model trailer here. It pulls really good, but a lot of the rear suspensions wore out. So I went the other week and found this, found this set of tandems right here. Um, that's that the suspension is in a lot better shape. But we're gonna take the suspension out from underneath this set of tandems here and um, put them under this trailer. And we'll we'll eventually these are these are Dayton wheels, the centers. The, there's no center in the rim. We're gonna change the hubs out. Actually you'll see this this trailer right here has got two different style dating hubs on it. That one's got a uh, five and that one's got the six. Yeah, this, this trailer pulls really good. I'm not crazy about these round standards. So eventually we might just cut all the standards off and, and rebuild them with square like, like my other trailer is. Um, but like I said, it pulls good and uh, it's a stout trailer. I like the lighting on it, it's really nice. Uh, so, do a little bit of work to it and uh, make a really nice trailer out of it. But I mean, it hauls the wood and that's, what's, that's, what, uh, that's what we got it here for, so.
on these uh, big truck axles, you have the Dayton wheels, which are just a, a donut tire, and they got different style spoke set up. Like that's a five spoke, but here's a five spoke, and it's different. Right there. And then they they also make a three spoke that six lug. So I found out all kind of stuff about these Dayton wheels that I didn't know before. And I picked up a couple sets of tandems for the hubs or the tires or whatever we might need. Uh, but I'd like to eventually, this runs a, a 10 lug, but this is called a, a bud lug. You take the nut off and that lets the outside wheel come off. And then you put a square socket on this bud lug and it actually unthreads and allows the, the inside wheel to come off. So that's the kind of design that's on the rear of my Kenworth. Now they make the newer style This is a, a hub piloted, or some people call them a unilug, because it has one lug nut. You take it off and both wheels will come off. And that's what the, the newer style axles have on them. So that's kind of what we're looking at to switch all this stuff over to eventually. These, these bud wheels are what they call lug piloted, which means that the lugs line the wheels up to the hub or to where they bolt up. And the hub piloted or unilug wheels, they, the hub centers the wheel. So that's, that's why they call them hub piloted because the, the hub centers the wheel up on on the hub. But that's uh like I said, that's the modern style, the newest style big truck wheel. This this style right here is like I said, what was on what's on my Kimworth. And that was the bud wheel before that. And then these Dayton wheels are probably the oldest style big truck wheel there is but they used them all the way up until i don't know man probably the the 80s or so i, I know chevrolet two-ton trucks and ford actually i got a a 89 f700 that's got the uh dayton's on it so they they ran them for quite some time. But it's just a, a better design. Uh, um, the hub piloted or unilug wheel so you can actually pull the brake drums off and do a brake job without breaking the hub loose, which saves the cost of having to replace the wheel seal. And just one less step to being able to do the brake job, so. It's a lot better deal, and as soon as I, I've got an, I've, I got another set of hubs. Uh, um, I bought a, a 2014 Hyundai trailer that was in a wreck, so I've got the, um, all the hubs off of it that I can swap on to 
a trailer and uh, be more modern. I'll probably put them on the newer trailer and then upgrade this older trailer as I can. But that's what we've got right now. Just uh, I had to invest in this equipment to be able to to be able to make the money. So it's tied some money up, but it shouldn't take long to get it back because uh, these loads pray pretty good. So that's what we got. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll check you next time. Here's how. Here's how these work. Um, and so you take take the lug nut off and the wheel, and then this bud lug right here. And these are on the left hand side. They're left hand three or. They're left hand thread so that the lugs will tighten up as you're going down the road or they won't loosen up. But that's the way they work. Just like that.